there's nothing like a random and unexpected visit. Thank you, Chuck Norris. Thank you, Peter. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 epic movie cameos. Oops! I did it again, baby. Yeah! Just to be clear, this means short visits from big stars that are pretty much all about the shock value. If you want to know the secret of being, you will come with us. Uh, please, I, I really need to go. Number 10, Bob Barker, Happy Gilmore. How are you doing, Happy? I'm Bob Barker. Wow, what an honor, nice to meet you. Looks like you and I are gonna be playing together today. Barker is paired with Gilmore for the Celebrity Pro-Am, but as Happy's increasingly distracted by a certain jackass, You suck, you jackass. The duo falls to last place. <laughs> this guy sucks. <laughs> That brings out the frustration in the otherwise sweet old game show host, and Happy also doesn't deal too well. There is no way that you could have been as bad at hockey as you are at golf. All right, let's go. But Bob is fiercer than he looks, dishing out an unrelenting smackdown before being knocked out for good. Happy! The price is wrong, bitch. Ish. Okay, Bob, we promise we'll have our pets spayed or neutered. Now you've had enough, bitch. Number nine, Matt Damon, Eurotrip. I'll play a little song for you about the nastiest, freakiest little sex puppet I know. If there's one actor we'd be hard-pressed to imagine in a European adventure comedy filled with naughty behavior, it's Matt Damon. Scotty doesn't know. Oh, Scotty doesn't know. Oh. It's even tougher to see him as a tattooed, shaved head sporting, pierced ear having, nail polish wearing rocker. Right this cameo is made all the more ridiculous when Damon's character unabashedly claims all the credit for being the other dude and recounts how he banged Scotty's girlfriend. I did her on his birthday. Number 8, Bob Saget, Half Baked. Marijuana is not a drug. If you grew up watching Full House or even America's Funniest Home Videos, you probably remember when Bob Saget was as wholesome as apple pie. However, if this unexpected cameo is to be believed, Saget's got a dark side. And strong opinions, too. I used to suck dick for coke. I seen him! Well, that's quite an addiction, actually. No wonder he's in rehab alongside Dave Chappelle. You ever suck some dick for marijuana? Yeah. Huh? Ever imagine Saget saying anything like that? No, no, I can't say I have. I didn't think so. Number seven, Alice Cooper, Wayne's World. Alice, God. is this cool? Check these yeah, come on in. How do you add serious cred to a flick about young rock enthusiasts? By having an appearance by Alice freaking Cooper, of course. We're not worthy! We're not worthy! We're not worthy! However, as Wayne and Garth go backstage to meet the rock god, they and the viewers quickly discover that the badass persona is just for show. But Milwaukee has certainly had its share of visitors. The French missionaries and explorers were coming here as early as the late 1600s to trade with the Native Americans. In fact, isn't Milwaukee an Indian name? Yes, Pete, it is. That's right, an Alice Cooper party involves a discussion on the finer points of history. Still pretty cool, though. It's the only major American city to have ever elected three socialist mayors. Does this guy know how to party or what? Huh? Huh? Huh. Number six, Tom Cruise and Company, Austin Powers in Gold Member. Yeah, baby. The third Austin Powers flick starts off with a bang, courtesy of a high octane duel between Austin's swinger jag and a helicopter. Expecting Mike Myers? Well, think again. Instead, it's a recast version, populated by Hollywood A-listers like Tom Cruise, Gwyneth Paltrow, Kevin Spacey, and Danny DeVito. I'm meeting me! Come and get me! <laughs> they even went the extra mile and got the Academy Award-winning Steven Spielberg to direct. Having said that, I do have some thoughts. Really? Uh, my friend here? Thinks it's fine the way it is. Number five, 
Stan Lee, Mall Rats. Can his whole body stretch? I mean, every part, you know, like his... Hey, <laughs> I know what you mean. We never really tackled stuff like that in the old days. I mean, what with the comic book code and all. After Clerks, Kevin Smith was rocking some uber geek cred. And this unexpected cameo by the great Stan Lee made comic book fans wet their Spider-Man costumes. But you know, I think you ought to get him some help. He seems to be really hung up on superhero sex organs. But I'll you'll outgrow it. Yeah. Okay. Lee shows up just when Brody is in need of guidance. However, it's only when the old man starts sharing his fond comic book memories that Brody realizes who he's talking to. Holy shit! Aren't you? Oh, Stanley. Hi. But all Stan wants to do is talk about love. You know, what's with that? That's the second time you've commented on couples in love. Well, I, I like that sort of thing. Number four, Luke Wilson, Tim Robbins, and Ben Stiller, Anchorman, the legend of Ron Burgundy. If you're gonna have a fight, then don't forget Channel 2 News with me, lead anchor Frank Fitchard. In a completely random and hilarious opportunity for cameos, the Channel 4 news team is caught off guard by all of their rivals while taking a shortcut through town. The sewers run red with Burgundy's blood. Yeah, yeah. No, we don't just mean Vince Vaughn and his aggressive evening news team. We're talking about Luke Wilson's Channel 2 team, Tim Robbins' public news team, and Ben Stiller's Spanish language news team, and their epic and frankly bizarre cameo laden brawl. <laughs> Number three, Mike Tyson, The Hangover. Mike Tyson? This is my favorite part coming up right now. When a wild night becomes a day of retracing drunken steps, one nagging mystery in particular remains a head scratcher. <laughs> oh, hey, hey, hey. He's not kidding, there's a tiger in there. No, there isn't. Where'd the tiger come from? Mr. Tyson would like to know why is this tiger in your bathroom? Reality's stranger than any theory you can dream up, because the boys stole it from a sleeping Mike Tyson. I have never seen a more beautiful, elegant, just regal creature. Check it out, Stu! Stu, f*** this tiger! Who does shit like that, man? Gotta say, though, Mike seems pretty friendly, especially when he wants to sing with the gang. But turns out it's all part of his interrogation technique. Oh, my life. Number two, Bill Murray, Zombieland. Bill Murray, you're a zombie? Ah! Ah! Oh, God, I'm on fire! In a flick about the end of mankind, the last person anyone expects to see is zombified Bill Murray. But fear not, he's just playing dress up to keep up with the Joneses. Oh, I do it to blend in. You know, you know, zombies don't mess with other zombies. A buddy of mine, makeup guy, showed me how to do this. Cornstarch, you know, some berries, a little licorice for the ladies. Once Murray drops the ruse, Woody Harrelson gives the appropriate and some would say mandatory fan level freak out. God damn it, Bill fing Murray! Too bad Bill takes his pranks too far, trying to get a laugh from a scared kid with a shotgun. Number one, Neil Patrick Harris, Harold and Kumar go to White Castle. Excuse me, are you Neil Patrick Harris? Yep. Taking the top spot on our list is the legendary cameo by NPH. No, Neil, you don't understand. We've been craving these burgers all night. Yeah, I've been craving burgers too. Fur burgers. Then known mainly because of his role as TV's kid doctor, Doogie Howser. Dude, I humped every piece of ass ever on that show. Even the chick who played the hot nurse? No. I didn't go all the way with her. The complete opposite of what anyone expected, this washed up, creepy, terrifying, and addiction crazed celeb turned hitchhiker. Neil, you wouldn't happen to know how to get on the highway from here, would you? Dude, I don't even know where the f I am right now. Punctuates the title stoner's quest for burgers in ways they couldn't possibly imagine. Did Dookie Hauser just steal my f***ing car? Do you agree with our choices? No. Which movie cameo screams epic to you? Ma, the meatloaf! For more entertaining top tens, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. What happened to my car? I made some love stains in the back seat. You'll see.